All right, it is time for another Japan crate, and this time it's all about love. That actually made me uncomfortable to say. Um, right, okay, so as you can see, today we do have uh, the February edition of Japan crate, I believe, despite the fact it's kind of, you know, near the end of January. But as you can see, there's a bit of a hint as to the theme here, and that is the heart. But not only that, if we take a look, obviously this is the premium edition, if you take a look at the back, it does indeed say Happy Valentine's Day! Or, if you want to read the katakana, it's Happy Barantine Day! Um, yeah, that is day. Day? Sort of like, not, not quite day, but whatever. And that is the other side if you want to check out the website, which I'll leave a link to in the um, description below. But also, at the back, they've also got a lovely bit of, um, you know, sort of, lovey-dovey artwork between the Japan Crate Kamen Rider dudes and the other girl that he's married to now or something. I don't keep up with the deep Japan Crate lore, admittedly. Now I have cut the thing open but I've not looked inside and neither will you because I will take this out and as usual just grab into the box, take a look what's in there and then we'll take a look together at what we get. And this is indeed February 2019 there they are, being cute together. She Is she making chocolate? No, I don't know. Apparently that's like a big thing in Japan, that the girls make chocolates for the guys, I think. And then next month, I think, is when the guys give stuff to the girls. Oh, have I got that completely wrong? I, I don't know. Anyway, we won't take a look in because, you know, it just shows off, like, everything we've got in there. So, as with usual boxes, let's just grab something and pull it out. Um, ooh. Okay, what is... Oh, is that how you... No, that's how you read it. Sorry, I, I recognise Sue. That was upside down. Ooh, okay, they're like skittly things, are they? Very cute. Ch Saki Chiketsu? I don't know, I could be reading that wrong. My hiragana is really, really weak, actually. Uh, katakana, fine with. Hiragana, I don't know. Anyway, let's take a look at the booklet to see exactly what these little smarty things are. These are Arigato chocolates. Uh, share February's goodies with... Uh, sorry. Share February's goodies and give a gift of thanks to this Arigato pack of chocolate. For those that don't know, Arigato is the Japanese for thank you. So yeah, all I need now is to find someone special in my life. Well, I'm not ready to do the impossible yet, so let's delve back into the box and find another thing. Sorry, that, that sounded phenomenally depressing there. Um... Right, <clears throat> we have shi Shimi Kon. Shimi Kon. Okay. Uh, and that's Choco. Ah, oh, Choco Shimi Kon. Okay. What's, what's a Shimi Kon? That is she, isn't it? In here again. I can't remember. Um. Ooh, strawberry cream. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no. Okay, I've had these before. They're like, um. They're in the shapes of stars. They're like biscuity stuff. And uh, these obviously taste of. Strawberries and cream. Ah, wait. Shimmy gone. Um, no, I, th I think that's the name starts or something. Uh, right, yeah. Let's check out what these are then. And these are Shimmy Choco Strawberry Shortcake. Um, so yeah, Shimmy Choco are the um, star things and they are strawberry shortcake flavour. Very nice, actually. Um, yeah, I think these usually come in some kind of strawberry flavour. Oh, the ones I've had, anyway, they've always been kind of like strawberry or peach or something, maybe? Ooh. This feels flat. This is... Choco. That's, that's what that says. Choco, you will enjoy its taste. You can't tell me what to do. Bitetsuri? I don't know. Um, yeah. It seems like a... It's a weirdly light slab of chocolate. Um... Okay, cool. Let's take a look at what this is then. This is Choco Taro. It's a sweet and salty chocolate bar. And it's kind of got, um, yeah, it's got like ricey stuff inside, which, uh, which would explain why it was kind of light and stuff. Where's that gone? Ah, there. Yeah, very nice. It's kind of a, um, uh, rice crispy kind of stuff, if you guys have ever had that. Next up is crispy chocolate rice cereal. Um, okay. Is this another similar thing to this one then? 
feels very light again, feels very chocolatey, and it's got a lovely, terrifying looking version of Yoshi there. Uh, it's obviously not Yoshi, he is blue uh, instead of green. But yeah, crispy, crisp chock. Okay. Right, let's see, what is this then? This is crispy chocolate rice cereal. It's a um, molten rice cereal like bar thing. A quick confection. And you know what? Actually, at the end of the video, I'm going to crack this open, I think, and give it a try. I keep meaning to do that in videos, but they run so long that I'm kind of like, eh, I'll give it a miss. But you know what? This month, let's indulge ourselves. And talking about indulging, we have a new Maibo. Um, and this time, it tastes of space. No, it tastes of chocolate. Wait, what? That says chocolate, chocolate. Um, actually, it is a bit smaller than the regular umaibo, and it's a bit like more solid. Ooh, is this like a sweet umaibo? All right, I'm I'm game for that. Let's see. This is indeed umaibo chocolate. It's um yeah, it's an umaibo stick, which is like a puffed corn tube thing, but it's covered in chocolate. That's really cool. Actually, tell you what, I'll eat that at the end of the video instead. Um. I don't eat too many things because, you know, I, I can only eat so much in um, in one go. Ooh. Strawberries. More strawberries. Uh, po poro. A aporo. Apple? Wait, what? Is th that says aporo. Okay. Aporo. Very nice. No, I like the packaging. It's like weird. Um. Yeah, let's check out what this strawberry apple... Ooh, wait. Is that slightly open? No, it's not. Okay, it's just me. Be right back. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, this is a Apollo Petite Pack. So, I was kind of right. It does say Apollo, but it's not... Oh, I, I think, actually, apple would be Aparu, wouldn't it? So, um... Yeah, these are small bits of chocolate that taste of strawberry and, well, milk chocolate. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice. As I said, the packaging is really cool, and they feel like very small pieces, which is quite nice. Next up is... Ooh, Hello Kitty Lolly, basically. Um, so, like, you, you know what I mean by Lolly. Um, you know, the, the, the confectionery kind that you can, you can eat. Okay, let's check out what this is. This is the Hello Kitty candy. Apparently it's strawberry flavour, and yeah, it's a, it's a lollipop. That's the word I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting the pop part, which may be slightly confusing to some people. Um, right, next up, we have... Ooh, it's that guy, and I can't remember his name, but he's he's from that one chocolate brand thing. Um, yeah, that's ch Chocoball. There we are, Chocoball. That's the one, because they're ball balls, but they're also chocolate. Uh, not to be confused with the famous song from Ch South Park, sung by the chef. Uh, right, let's check out what this flavour is then. Alright, this is Mysterious Chocolate Ball Chocolate Banana. And um, yeah, they're chocolate balls with a banana coating, I think, and like a cookie, chocolate cookie in, in a thing. It's pretty nice, actually. Um, yeah, I will say cho Choco Ball has been consistently pretty nice. Um, especially these ones, because I think the ones I had before were like chewy fudge or something, and I'm not massive on fudge. Ooh. Ooh, okay, wait. We have... We have another <laughs> similar pack. Wait, no, these aren't the same at all. These aren't Apollo. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's upside down. Um, okay. Aparu. That definitely says... No, oh, Aburu. Ab Aburu? Abu. Oh, wait, this is marble chocolate, apparently. Um, yeah, so Smarties, basically. Um, right, <laughs> let's take a look at what these are, then. These are marble petite packs. So I'm an idiot, that's ma, not ah. So, ah, marburu. And yeah, they're um, apparently like M&Ms. And, um, and also is the perfect late night treat. I've noticed that's a theme in a lot of these snack descriptions. I don't understand. Sorry about that. The uh, phone is ringing. Yeah, so um, it's <laughs> it's kind of weird. We've had two packages in the same design. I think this is the um, 
carton shape as well that Japanese milk sometimes comes in because uh, in my gacha gacha crate I believe one of the gacha things was like little packages that looked like drink cartons and I got the milk one. Ooh, okay, we... Right, well we have a DIY kit for the... Ah, oh, that's pretty cool, so it's like a banana dippy thing. I can't be asked to read that. Um, We'll see, because it'll it'll say in the manual, anyway. Um, but that man looks incredibly pleased by whatever this is. I think it's meant, meant to look like festival food. This is Hora Dekita Chocolate Banana Soft Candy. And, um, yeah, thankfully this actually looks like quite a simple one. I think you open things, um, maybe... Yeah, no, wait, you... Oh, you don't even add any water or anything. That's good, because, um... I've had a few DIY kits in the past, you have to have, add water and stuff and um, the measurements never quite work out so you either get really runny kind of juice or or not at all. Yo, okay! That's... That is a big old bag of Kit Kat there, that's massive! Okay, let's see, this is... Hot Sushi? Hot Sushi? Is that hot? Is... No, that's not key, that's hot, isn't it? Hot Sushi... Or Hoshi. I... That... It looks savoury. Almost. That looks like meat or something. Or nuts, maybe? Oh, wait. Uh. Ho Hochija roasted tea. Ooh. Yo, it's tea flavour. Okay, that... So I know a lot of people maybe don't like tea. I love tea. Um, Don't like coffee, though. So, I don't know. Yo! That's amazing. So that's Hojita Roasted Tea. Right, let's check out what exactly that is. So this is KitKat Hojicha. It's uh, exclusively sold in the Kansai region. It's a collaboration between KitKat and Itokiamon. An artisanal Kyoto tea maker. Wow, and it's a sele carefully selected roasted green tea infused chocolate. That's crazy. And also this is the bonus item of the month. And man, what a bonus item, because like, usually the bonus item will be like a little bag or something. And you know, I, I don't mind, honestly, because like, hey, a bonus is a bonus, you know? But like, man, they went all out this month with a bonus. This is massive. This will last me weeks. Um, you know, obviously, share it with people uh, in work, just to show off, off how refined I am. Ooh. Next up, we have, okay... I can't really read that, it's all squished and stuff, the writing, I'm, I'm, I'm not confident enough. That's key, key t Kishi something. Anyway, yeah, it's grape flavour, I'm going to guess, because everything is purple. It also feels like a um, fruit roll-up kind of um, winders. Were they ever big in the US? I can't remember. They're big in the UK. They're kind of like... You know, you, you roll it out and it's like sticky, like fruit flavoured stuff. Anyway, let's check out what that is. This is roll candy grape. And yeah, it, it has 50 centimetres of rolled up grape goodness. Um, yeah, it's exactly what I described basically. It's like a fruit roll sheet, as they're calling it here. Perfect for taking to, you know, in your lunchbox and stuff. I suppose it would be, actually. Um, and I really like grape. And I know... I know a lot of people dislike the like fake grape flavour, but man, I I really like it. Oh, it was Ness for a second from a mother. Oh, that's that's all in kanji. Okay then. Well, he looks happy. Ooh, taro. More mochi mochi taro? Is that what it says? I don't know. Yeah, these feel like little puffs of corn or something. Right, okay, let's check out what this is then. This is new mochi taro. Um yeah, enjoy this new mochi taro snack this winter. Apparently it's like salty and stuff, so it's not sweet at all. Which actually is quite nice. Um, someone commented a while ago, actually on one of the other videos, and said, Ah, oh, these are mostly sweet things. And I was like, yeah, you know what? They're almost exclusively sweet, which I don't mind, but I do like kind of salty snacks. And I know Japan are really good at those. Ooh, we have something very chocolatey. This is definitely not a savoury thing then. Um, yeah, very fitting for the Valentine's thing. Is this like chocolate coffee? Chocolate milk? Don't imagine it'd be milk. That would be a bit weird. 
rich. Chocolate, rich. Chocolate syrup. Oh, what? Oh God, <laughs> I hope this isn't actually chocolate syrup because can't really drink that, you know, in, well, I mean, you, you could, I suppose. Right, okay, let's check out what this is. This is Hokkaido Cream Luxury Chocolate Can. And yeah, I think it's chocolate milk. Um, although it's using Hokkaido Cream instead of milk, but um, yeah, wow, well, that, that sounds amazing. Um, yeah, it's basically incredibly rich chocolate uh, milk stuff. Also comes in a really interesting can, actually, because it's like, this is all metal, but it's kind of shaped a bit like a bottle. It's kind of a kind of a big thing in Japan, I guess, at the moment. And our final item, I believe. Oh wait, no. Okay, ignore me. There's two items left. Ooh, high chocolate Ichigo mousse. Uh, and Ichigo is strawberry. As anyone who has watched Bleach will know, because the main character is an anthropomorphic strawberry. Um, yeah, these look really nice. They're like. Uh, you've you've probably had stuff like this before. I think ruffles are what we have in the UK. They're like chocolate and the strawberry stuff. Man, I haven't had ruffles in years. They're so nice. Um, yeah, well, these are basically them, I think. Right, let's, let's take a look. This is indeed strawberry mousse. And yeah, they're chocolate and strawberry um, candies, basically. The mousse is kind of like a soft thing inside. That, that is very nice, because... Um, Man, yeah, I am a sucker for these. It does... <laughs> I've noticed a lot of the descriptions are like, you'll eat this in one go at night because you're desperate for chocolate. Um, eating chocolate before bed isn't isn't good, really, because it'll just keep you up for hours. Like, if you're hungry, eat something light and not salted or sugared. Ah, oh, there's a cute bear. Um, what the fudge does that say? Rilakuma. Yeah, R Rilak Kuma. Obviously, Kuma is a bear. I don't know what Rilak is. Um, but yeah, there's two bears chatting to a third bear. This is almost certainly bubblegum. Um, or it's a small, small piece of chocolate. Right, let's let's find out. This is indeed Rilak Kuma gum. Gum itself is a refreshing soda flavour. With Rilak Kuma and Karila Kuma. Right. Oh, okay, that... That cover is different to ours because we got three bears on ours. I was a little bit confused then because, like, you've not named the third. And uh, yeah, they're all individually wrapped and stuff. Very, um, very cute bubblegum stuff, basically. And I believe this is the last one now. And that is. Ooh, is this like a pie thing? Um, I remember we had like a choco pie last month or something. Ooh! A strawberry and cream flavour though, I think, which is nice. Um, there's eight of them in a box. Ah, right, okay, yeah, 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 okay. They're those, like, kind of things. Very nice, right, okay. Let's, ooh. Ooh, that's a more dramatic cover. Right, let's check out what these are. This is Angel Pie Mini Strawberry. And, um, yeah, as, oh, ah, it's a strawberry marshmallow cream. There we are, and they're like, chocolate biscuit things. Very nice. Um, right, so I think that's everything. However, I'm going to quickly check... Oh, wait. There we are. Right. Because I did keep seeing on the um, on the little sheet there, there was just a heart. And obviously, this, <laughs> this is it. It's very weird because it's got no branding or anything on it. It, um, it looks like a box of roses or, you know, stuff where sort of like... It's a big tub of foil-wrapped sweets. Uh, right, okay, let's find out what exactly this is. This is hot chocolate. Um, yeah, no <laughs> no company name or anything there. And it informs me to give the chocolate to one of my loved ones. Right, well, I, I'm just going to eat that myself, I think, actually, if that's all right. Um, right, yeah, so, as mentioned, uh, I am going to eat the chocolate uh, umaibo thing. First I'm going to arrange everything in a nice uh, nice orderly manner so we can have a nice wrap up and then I'll bite into that chocolate cone cylinder thing. Alright so here is everything in its uh, colourful display and um, yeah it's been a very it's been a very chocolate um, chocolate and strawberry heavy month to be fair 
but you know there's there's a good reason for that they didn't just kind of forget or anything it is obviously valentine's day uh in february you know strawberries are very popular i guess um chocolate obviously is so yeah if you if you're hoping for you know savory snacks this month probably going to be a little bit disappointed although i will give them credit they they had a few things that were like chocolate but also savory so like kudos to them for that and without further ado as i mentioned i'm going to crack in to this choco umaibo umaibo choco i can't remember because yeah umaibo are um something i look forward to every month because you know i'm a sucker for savory stuff anyway uh right ooh. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take a bite. Okay, that, man, that really works actually. Um, so the, the corn inside is like plain, there's no, there's no savoury taste to the corn, uh, per se, so it is like puffed corn kind of stuff. But it's just salty enough that it kind of plays with the, um, chocolate. Yeah, that's, that's really nice actually, like... It does make me wonder if maybe my bowl's like, you know, gonna go the more sweet route and stuff. Because yeah, it tastes, it does taste a little bit like a sort of puffed corn chocolate thing. You've probably had some in the past, but um, yeah, this is damn fine chocolate, and the corn is like the familiar umaibo kind of thing. Yeah, damn, that's really nice actually. Right, well, that was really nice. Um, yeah, if you didn't happen to get this crepe, but you do want to import stuff from Japan and you like chocolatey stuff with a little bit of a kind of savoury kick, I'd, uh, I'd highly recommend this. It's actually very nice. But yeah, so that wraps up my um, Valentine's Day special. I don't know what music I'm going to be using in the background for this. I hope I can find something. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, as always. Also massive th massive shout out and thank you to everyone that watched my previous video because um like seriously my japan create videos have been consistently getting over a thousand views each and i'm blown away by it like i'm genuinely thankful to everyone that you know came by to watch and commented and liked the video and stuff i'm i'm really blown away i didn't expect that amount of views for any of my videos like at all so thank you very much and obviously I'll be doing this for a good couple of months. Um I don't know, trying out other things, but yeah, thank you guys. You've you're awesome. I will see you again.